Welcome to this video. My name is Phil and I'm a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln and I wanted to have a look at the ring of fire or annual solar eclipse which will be visible in the US, Central and South America on the 2nd of October 2024. So I wanted to see what the ring of fire actually or ring of fire eclipse is, how you can see it and who's going to get the best view basically. So the ring of fire eclipse is not like a normal eclipse. It doesn't fully eclipse the sun. And what happens here is the moon is on an elliptical orbit and it, it occurs basically when the moon is furthest away from the earth. So it basically appears slightly smaller. So a bit like a micro moon, I suppose. It's further away from the earth it doesn't completely block out the sun. So you end up with essentially this ring of fire eclipse or an annular eclipse, which is the proper name for it. So this is going to occur in October, 2nd of October, 2024. And where will you actually get to see it? Well, the maximum eclipse is this blue line here. And if you actually trace that over the actual landmass, then basically Argentina and Chile are going to get to see the full or the maximum annular eclipse or the proper ring of fire eclipse. So it's only a small portion really of the planet are going to get to see this at maximum eclipse. Now, when is it actually going to occur? Well, the partial eclipse, so that basically means when the moon starts to eclipse the sun, is going to occur at about 12.23 East, Easter Island summertime. And then it's going to basically end the partial end uh, the partial eclipse is going to end uh, at about 646 Argentina time so it will start kind of on well from Chile and then move over to Argentina time so this is in local time basically and if you want the actual proper maximum part of that that's going to occur again starting from the, the Chile side about four minutes past two and then it will end around about half past five in Argentina time. So if you want to see the maximum eclipse, they're the times it will occur local time to you. Obviously, um, they will last a reasonable amount of time. So if they're going to be, if the partial eclipse is occurring a couple of hours before and a few hours after, you'll get to see quite a bit of it, hopefully, in those locations. So the full eclipse actually is going to last probably about under four hours, but obviously people are not going to be moving along that line. You're only going to get to see a glimpse of the full eclipse. But if you're on that blue line there, that's the maximum eclipse. So if you're on that, you're going to get to see the full ring of fire eclipse, which should be quite interesting and exciting to see. Now, there are locations that you can basically get a partial eclipse. So right at the very edge, if you're in New Zealand, you can get a very small partial eclipse. So up to about 0.3%. That's barely an eclipse at all, but it's right on the edge of it. And Mexico, again, on the opposite side, you can get up to about 0.6% coverage of the sun by the moon. So a very, very small partial eclipse at the very edges of it, but still you'll get a little bit. And... If you're in Hawaii, you can get basically just over a half coverage. So just over or up to 52% coverage of the sun by the moon if you're in Hawaii. And again, Uruguay, about the same. So if you're there, you can get up to about 52% as well. So that should give you kind of a nice partial eclipse, actually. And what's the best way to actually view it? Well, you need to be safe when looking at the sun and things like that. So there's a few ways you can actually view it. The first one is to get a colander. You can just hold this kind of up to the sun and project it onto the ground or something. You'll actually, it works a bit like a pinhole camera. So you get the silhouette as the, of the eclipse as it's occurring. Most people will have this probably in their kitchens. You can just go grab it. It means you don't have to look at the sun, but you can still get the actual eclipse as it's occurring. You can use a pinhole camera, so you just get a, a bit of paper, basically put a hole in it and then project it onto another bit of paper and you'll get the same effect, but you just get the one. If you've got a colander, you can do it for obviously multiple holes as well. Again, it stops you from looking at the actual sun. 
However, if you've got a telescope, you can get solar filters which you can put onto the end of it and you can look at the sun in much greater detail. And actually that would be really cool to see and quite good. So if you've got a, a telescope, it doesn't have to be a big one. You know, the sun's quite big, it's quite bright. You just need to get a proper solar filter, which are not expensive actually. You put it over the edge and then you can safely watch the sun. Just don't look at it without the filter on. And then you can also get the um, solar eclipse glasses, which are basically the same sort of filter paper. You just put them on your eyes and then you can safely look at the sun as well. So if you're in any of that location where you can see the eclipse, then I definitely recommend you go out and have a look at it if you can get to. It. And also if it's clear, it might not be clear as in like it might be cloudy, but hopefully you'll get to see something. So thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, then just drop them in the actual comment section for the video.